This conference will this conference will now be re, this conference will now be recorded. Hi hello all, welcome to the next session on ALE IDOX. In the last class, we have seen what exactly the outbound and inbound IDOC. And also we are able to generate a successfully the IDOC from the outbound side, but we have received some errors from the inbound side. And today, how to troubleshoot the errors in inbound side and how to reprocess the errors in inbound side, like we talked about. So, what exactly the IDOC? IDOC provides very good tracking mechanism and monitoring mechanism as well as reprocess mechanism as well as debugging you can debug the idocs right that's what the idocs and we are going to integrate the two systems and with the idocs so here we are doing a scenario sap to the sap and we have transferred some of the materials to the uh, target system 810 is the client and when i go to the 810 we see the errors so let's take an example of so what is the ID guys? ID admin and password. Is it ID is perfect. So so just I would like to summarize what exactly the IDOX again one more time. And IDOX is an application linking and enabling, and it's a cross application tool which is used to transfer the data between SAP to the SAP and SAP to the non-SAP. And so IDOC, IDOC is an intermediate document and which is an a data container. So which is an a data container. And if you see here, we have the source system, we have an a target system and source system. We call it an outbound system target system. We call it an inbound system. So the data will be carried from source system to the target system by, a, by using IDOC and the IDOC structure. IDOC contains the control record status record and data record. All the control record you are going to see the all the communication what is sending system receiving system these details in the com control record the data will be stored in the EDA DC database table and also we have data record data record is in a reference to the sorry data record contains the actual data data record the IDOC is a name uh, in data record so the data record is referenced with the IDOC type and IDOC type is in a group of segments and that can be created in the we 30 transaction and so each segment will have an, a different group of uh, fields so each segment will have an, a group of fields the segments will be created in the transaction we 31 and also there is an, a concept called message type concept so uh, we have an, a message type and message type is used to identify uniquely identify your applications whether it's in a master data sorry whether it's in a material master data or customer master data vendor data what kind of data it is so the transaction code for the message type is the we81 and also there is a linkage between the message type to the idoc type the transaction code is the we82 and you can see the linkage between idoc type to the message type and also so if you want to uh, transfer the data uh, we have some some of the things like communication details like port and partner profile and process code and port is in a target area to place the idoc data and port will be created with reference to the rfc destination and the transaction code to create an import is the we21 and partner profile which is it is used to maintain the partner information and also it is used to provide what kind of data we are idoc sending uh, to the system and idoc a triggering technique what kind of triggering technique we use that also we can use in the partner profile by using outbound process code but the message control we see that part and partner profile will process the idoc data by using process code and process code will contain the tra transaction code to create a partner profile is the we20 and process code will process the data by using function models there are two types of process codes we have one is the outbound process code one is the inbound process code so outbound process code we will use in the message control concept but inbound process code or inbound side if you want to process the data inbound partner profile is must and also inbound process code is must without a inbound process code you cannot create an inbound ida guys that's the mandatory thing that's an equation so is the outbound process code and outbound uh, uh, partner profile is must no, not required, but in the inbound side, you should be having an inbound process code, guys. So the process code, we are going to assign a function model 
that function module is responsible to read the data from IDAC to post the data into the application. And so there are outbound IDAC steps. So first, if you want to generate an IDAC, you must maintain these steps, guys. So we must have an RFC destination. Then we must know the message type for the application. And also based on the message type, you can get the IDAC type. And also um, you must linkage between the IDAC type to the message type. You must maintain the port with the RFC destination. You must uh, suppose in the RFC destination, if it is in a logical system, the logical system you should check in the transaction code BD54, and you need to assign the logical system to the client in the transaction SCC4. And so you need to maintain the partner profile in the W20. If it is an outbound side, you need to maintain the outbound parameters. If it is an inbound side, you need to maintain the inbound partner, uh, inbound parameters. And also for an outbound side, you need to maintain the distribution model. And in the distribution model, we need to maintain the message type and also we need to go to the edit we need to distribute the model view then we need to generate an, a partner profile then we need to use the triggering technique so based on the data we are going to use three there are three types of triggering techniques we have in the idocs so one is the standard programs another one is the change pointers for the change of data and message control for the transactional data guys and yesterday we have seen the material master details and also guys so whenever you trigger an idoc outbound side there is an, a tracking mechanism you can check the status of an idoc by using transaction code w e 2 so there are two types of status codes one is outbound status code another one is the inbound status code and the other girl very option okay so there are two types of uh, status codes outbound status code inbound status code where do you check the status code status codes possible status codes not the idoc status code w e 47 so 0 to 40, um, the, the uh, 42 are uh, 0 to 42 are related to the outbound IDOC status codes. Then 50 to 75 is the inbound status codes case. And also there is an, a push and pull mechanism in the IDOCs. So what is push is in the partner profile, there are two radio buttons. One is the trigger IDOC immediately. Another one is the collect IDOCs. So if it is in a trigger IDOC immediately, so whenever you trigger the IDOC, immediately it will post it to the target application. But whenever you select collect IDOCs, so it will expect to, we have to execute the program, the status code of the, if this is the, if this is the, if you select trigger IDOC immediately, so the outbound IDOC status code is 03. So immediately it will trigger, it will place the IDOC to the target application. But if it is in a collect IDOC, the outbound status code is 30 guys. So ready to dispatch. This IDOC will not send it to the target system. It will be there in the outbound system, but with the status of 30. But if you want to process these IDOCs with the status 30, we have to execute the program RSE out 00. This is the program which we need to use. If it is a push mechanism, when in the partner profile level, if you select the option collect IDOCs, the status code is 30, and you need to use the program RSE out triple zero, guys. And We'll see the pull mechanism later. Pull is there are two types of options: trigger immediately, trigger by background uh, program. If it is in a pull mechanism, if it is in a trigger immediately, this is inbound side guys. Inbound, inbound status code is 53. But if it is triggered by background program, the inbound status code is 64 it's which is an ready to dispatch 64 if you want to you can check the description in the wa 47 then if this is the case we have to we have to execute the program rbda pp01 this is the program which you need to use it guys so that's a uh, trigger immediately that is a pull mechanism so This is also a possible interview questions. Okay, if the interviewer knows the push and pull mechanism. 
okay so this is the a push and pull mechanism and so whenever you generate an idoc it will create an a two types of idocs so one is the uh, master idoc the second one is the communication idoc so you are going to get one record one master idoc but the communication idoc based on the n number of target systems it creates an a n number of communication idocs guys and so inbound side also you must maintain some configuration you must be having rfc destination you must be having an import you must be having an inbound partner profile you so you, you must have any process code and also check status of an idoc okay this is what uh, the theory of the idocs and yesterday we triggered the idocs so from a 800 system point of view it's an outbound system this is we02 that date is um which one is month is here i think this is the month huh? okay uh or maybe i can put from eight eighth month okay execute see guys huh so some idoc what happened matmas idox what is the system this is 800 we generate a lot of idox cases yesterday or else we'll generate today as well so go to the if you want to trigger idox standard programs we need to use the bd10 is the transaction okay matt mass give the material from m uh, iphone 01 so maybe i use only this uh, material okay to the m iphone 10 so i use only limited materials okay and logical system it is 8 10 and full send the full data of the material and execute see this is no problem Ten master idox created and zero communication idox created why something problem someone is destroyed my uh rfc destination and i go to the we 21st and partner type ls so this is the errors case so i am not getting any communication idoc so edz n810 this is what we created yesterday and this is the partner profile and uh, go to this and go to matmas and first i will check the port rfc destination is the communication is there remote logon save changes first and yeah the communication is there this is proper uh, next thing is i am going to save uh, it is the n10 then uh, port is fine and come back this is fine i am at mass 05 this is fine partner profile is fine and uh, maybe what is the problem inbound site uh, we20 inbound edz n00 and inbound partner profile also there and you have an matm and trigger immediately this is also fine so maybe i think the problem is uh, with the distribution model and bd64 So go to the e it is e this is the one no it is e eight this is only right yesterday we have created yeah that's fine math mass why i'm getting this error there huh? okay that is there right yeah that is there so maybe I can do an edit model view and distribute here. I will get an error if there is an error model view is good and generate partner profile environment generate partner profile and partner is this and execute. No messages have been defined for the selection conditions in the model. No message. Huh? This is the message type change.
material master fine why generate partner profile no messages have even what's the error zero communication idox Okay, what we will do is uh, can we delete this? Hmm? Delete distribution model and create the distribution model again. Create model view uh, G E D Z uh, eight. Okay. And uh, add message type. Uh, it's a first. This is the one mat mass and okay. And again add message type reverse. Mat mass, okay, and uh, edit model view and distribute. So save first, save the distribution model and edit model view and distribute. And okay, uh, EDZ N00 does not exist. RFC destination synchronous communication. What happened? No, oh, Irfan, you did something. <laughs> Your name is showing G I F F U A T. Something you did. Where did you did this? Martin profile. This is. Huh? See something showing with your name. Uh, you change it now. Where? Okay. WE20 logical system uh, EDZ mm. 800 ZED which one we take EDZ this one okay math mass synchronous okay this side also you did you better uh, okay, so maybe port side, did you maintain something? Port it is 810 and it is 810 remote logon. It's working. The power, this is fine. And maybe <coughs> here also you maintain something. <coughs> Sixty four. Okay, you changed the <clears throat> okay logical systems. VD fifty four. So this is fine. You created your own. Yeah, you created your own. Okay. So now I got it. So go to SCC four. You changed them in the. Here 800 you have assigned in fun 
okay and eight uh, ten also you have changed this that's the problem so logical systems are changed that's why the partner profiles are not working guys okay so what we can do is so maybe so here the problem is so maybe i can create a new partner profile okay w e 20 and ls did you create it with the same name partner profile z yeah you maintain this okay this is the partner information and mat mass synchronous okay and did you maintain this in the distribution model communication is gone so so maybe i will try bd10 with your setup then okay so f4 uh, z z star f4 and a10 is my partner okay so m iphone 01 so i'm using your details Uh, next, next, don't create any logical systems and RFC destinations, huh? uh, or else first time it's okay. And send execute. Ten master IDAX, zero communication IDAX. Okay, maybe we'll we'll use this uh, in the uh, BD sixty four. Did you maintain any distribution model? Where, what is that? What did you use? Client 800, uh, 800, 810 material master. Okay. Irfan, edit model view and distribute. Okay. Synchronous does not exist. You don't maintain synchronous here. You maintain, right? Sync, synchron. Why it's not coming? 800. Why you maintained 800? Okay. So now this time I put collect IDAX. Before yesterday we have said trigger IDAX immediately. Now we we have put in a collect IDAX. We'll see what will happen. So now I go back to the distribution model and Irfan edit model view and distribute. And okay. So model view has been created. Okay. And uh, the target system okay we'll see later so bd10 again we trigger the idox with the uh, m iphone 01 this time we'll save the variant here m10 a10 save variant idox And execute 10 master IDAX, zero communication IDAX. So, why? So, this time is this side is fine. Maybe I'll go to the inbound side, guys. Maybe inbound side. Uh, huh? Inbound side. Inbound side, you didn't paint anything. This is gone, right? 
inbound site this is uh, mathmas is there why it's not coming inbound site mm. <coughs> okay inbound author profile g i f f 800 i f f u 800 uh, us and i d admin okay and add them first you need to save it then you can add the inbound partner profile okay message type math bus m a t m is the and this side also i will use in a pull mechanism triggered by background program okay save i created new partner profile for this okay uh, now we'll see guys uh, 800 side math mass synchronous 800 okay so maybe we'll use now bd 10 and select variant hmm? i doc and execute so steps okay first i will check scc4 we'll do from first guys so check 800 uh, 8 iaffu 800 and uh, uh, 810 iaffu 810 okay this is fine first step is fine then rfc destination sm59 and we are using the same rfc destination i think rfc destination didn't change it so edg edg 8 uh, this is the one so remote logon so rfc is working fine from this side and next one is partner profile we20 and go to the partner and chat iff 810 actually this is the one which we need to use it i think uh, i will delete this i will add the uh, again mat mass sorry mat mass and port is this and collect idox basic type is mat mass 05 save and okay the packet size we need to give save save come back and synchronous this is also fine synchronous and synchronous save and come back okay the partner profile is okay and guys this i will delete i don't want this maybe delete this okay this is my partner profile guys we'll go to the outbound inbound site this is the 810 right i'm not able to see this i think 810 uh, and go to the we 20 and partner type ls this is an 800 is my partner so inbound partner profile we have maintained so inbound partner profile process code maintained okay then we'll go to the uh, outbound site in the distribution model we go and bd54 something problem with the distribution model uh, uh -huh. bd bd64 huh? mm, we'll do that so maybe uh, we'll we'll delete this case we'll see huh? We'll add freshly. Okay, we'll delete this. We'll delete this also. Okay, save. So now I am going to create a model view. It is new and control V. Okay, and it is new and add message type. Uh, now G I F F F four. So from eight hundred receiver is the eight ten. Receiver is the 
write done and message type is mat mask and okay and reverse it and g so this time this is 8 and this is 800 and mat mask and okay and save the distribution model edit and model view and distribute and okay uh, Irfana. Irfan is deleted, right? Irfan is there. Come back. And BD, I think it's not updated in the database. BD64 again. Did you see Irfan? I, I, I is gone, right? So this is the new one and edit model view and distribute and okay. Why it's not, why it's coming in from again. Yeah, 800. Okay. Perfect. So maybe we will go to the 810 BD64. Uh, yeah, it is there in here, guys. Here also you need to delete it. Actually, distribution model is an a client independent, correct? So say whenever you distribute it, sorry, client dependent, whenever you distribute it, it will create in the target system. See, now you can see BD64 see the distribution is model is not available in the target system 810 now we'll go here g it is in you edit model view and distribute okay now model view has been created see go to the target system refresh uh, refresh is not there so i will come back bd 64 enter and see guys the distribution model is created in the next system so that's the name uh, distributing of a name model view so now i think it should work guys so go to the bd10 generate partner profile yeah i think it's already there generate partner profiles i think it should work see bd10 and go to the idoc and execute I think it should work before the message comes immediately. Now this time it is taking some time. Before immediately it tells 10 master IDOX are created. Top transaction. So stop transaction. If it doesn't work, go to that's the sometimes it will happen. Okay. 
okay bd10 select the variant and execute we'll wait here this time yeah now it's working three four five six okay eight nine and ten ten master idax ten communication idax space so it creates a communication idax go to the w e02 check the status of the idoc now tell me what is the status of the idoc outbound side huh? 03 or 30 03 or 30 hmm? so i put an a collect idoc the status should be in a 30 guys so i'll go to the uh, here and execute and you can see the status is 30 guys okay so ready to dispatch 30 means so see the idoc and the status record idoc ready to dispatch to the target application that means your goods are loaded okay but your lorry is not yet started guys okay so that's a simple way the goods are uploaded into the lorry but the lorry is not started from the source system so if you want to start your lorry so if you want to start your idoc go to the se38 and rse out 00 this is the program which you need to use to use and the idoc numbers okay select this one idoc number or control y and select the idocs whatever you want to process and input those idocs control v and execute and execute it you will get an status of three guys see it is see trfc port it is showing that means the target place it is going to post eight idocs were selected and refresh and you see the status is the three guys now the status comes so three means successfully posted the idoc to the target application data passed to port port is the target area target place case now we go to the target place 810 and we'll see whether the idoc is processed in the application or not go to the uh, 810 and uh, id admin and uh, uh, id yes go to here and check the status of the idoc we02 and execute and you see guys there is an a 64 so 64 means it's idoc ready to receive guys so target is idoc ready to transfer to the application okay so if you want to process this 64 you need to execute the program inbound side se 38 okay r b d a p p 0 1 so rbda pp01 execute and input the idox and input the idox and control y and select sorry control y and copy and control v execute and execute see these idox are being started to process and very very important guys these two options okay but there is some error but it started but it's not at posted to the application that run the error is 51 now you see the refresh now we are getting an error guys 51 is the inbound error so different status you have seen now so one is the outbound side you have seen uh, 0 30 and also uh, 0 3 and i will show later things and the inbound side you have seen 64 ready to transfer to the application and 51 and if you make this idoc as an a 53 then you are successful guys so i i have to make this and maybe the errors are the status is different here 50 is idoc added 64 is ready to dispatch and 62 is idoc passed to application but in the application there are some error guys so idoc included an idoc packet containing an error transfer it separately
so it's not a proper message guys maybe we'll go to the table level guys so s is 16 n so what is the status idoc table edi ds okay i will give the idoc number control record take this idoc number and take the idoc number execute see guys so something is giving me a problem and id admin idoc status set uh, hmm. i put in a packet of 1 uh, 100 uh. inbound side we'll see is it 1 w e 20 and inbound partner profile and uh, take this is the pocket size is available no mm. outbound side we'll see i'll put 100 outbound side w e 20 why it's not posting okay partner technical address details somewhere we can see the status guys transfer it separately So maybe uh, we'll do one by one processing. Okay, we'll do the reprocessing of the IDOX case. So how can you do the reprocessing of the IDOX case? So maybe I will go to the WE19 case. So this is the transaction where you can reprocess the IDOX. Okay, so inbound site, how to reprocess the IDOX? Okay, insert separate one by one i am going to do uh, reprocess of idox one is we19 okay this is used to reprocess the idox and also we can debug the idox guys that's the power of this transaction both the things we can do it we can do the reprocessing and also we can do the debugging as well so maybe i can go to the w19 and put an idoc number so this is my idoc number control c one idoc okay and execute sorry control v control y control Control C and Control V and execute. And so here you can see and standard inbound. You can choose this standard inbound and execute. I'm just reprocessing it. So the another IDAC is created. See, I process it with 0, 01, but when you do the reprocessing with the W19. It's not reprocessing the same IDOC. It is creating a new IDOC. See, the 9 is the new IDOC. Guys. So I will go to the 9. I refresh it. You will see the 9. So 9 is the thing, guys. But this is in a 64 mode. See, again, it comes back to the 64. If it is in a 64, what you need to do? Again, you need to execute the program. Go to the WE. Yes, sorry what is the program se 38 and rbd app 01 i am separately i am processing this record guys now control v and execute and f8 not posted 
again error so refresh refresh and this goes to the uh, error record now maybe what is the messages have been issued it's, now it's coming in a different issue the issue is has been changed guys before it's it shows the packeting issue but now it is showing in a different issue so what is this issue and maybe again i go to the table status record table where is the status record table okay and put this and execute and some message it was giving giving guys no filters no conversion no version change and some error application log it is giving so this is the application log it is giving guys parameter one this this is an application log id so guys sap has an error handling mechanism guys so that will be done in the transaction slg1 is the transaction so so one more thing is all the application logs will be generated in the this is a real time concept guys all the application logs will be generated in background and save the data in decode that means it will save the data in programs but we can access that by using slg1 is the transaction code okay very very important this is and maybe i will go to the slg1 i will give the application id id is this i think application id is this is the application id control y and control c and can i give this star and star execute no hmm. or else we'll see that today's log maybe you can find it some some material problems are coming up guys see so see there are a lot of problems you can see over here see not allowed there are some issues which is posted here m0 not does not exist or is not activated some m01 does not exist not activated some errors it is posting it so if you see the errors so the values 7 is not allowed for the spart okay there are some problems configuration problems you can see over here so there are some configuration problems guys so maybe what we can do is we'll create an a simple material guys so from outbound side i don't use any standard materials i am going to create an a simple materials mm01 okay create edg idoc test this is my material guys so which is an a mechanical engineering and which is an a uh, fat simple material okay enter only basic data one and basic data two and basic unit of measure is kg and description is something okay uh, i doc test material i think this is changed to uh, grass unit one and weight and kg i i'm going to create something kg save what is the message you have not entered the okay not required so it is the okay i doc test material has been created so go to the bd 10 and put the e d g before it is the idoc test and a10 and execute one master idoc uh.
Oh, sorry, guys. So, where I am? I am in the eight ten. Sorry. Slash and ex. Slash and ex. Okay, fresh. We'll come with fresh. SAP ECC. And go to the SAP user and welcome one two three four okay and create your material guys mm01 and e d g uh, idoc test one before already we created one uh, confused so go to the uh, mechanical engineering and uh, fat fat enter and basic data one basic data two and uh, some IDOC new test uh, material and basic unit of measure kg and one and one and weight unit is kg and save okay that is done and go to the bd 10 and edz This is the material and this is the one and execute okay one communication idoc fine and uh, w e 2 i think it should be in the 30 status and 30 status and uh, take this idoc and take this idoc and run the program outbound side what is the program rse out 0, 0 and execute and put the meti idoc number execute and one idoc is selected and it will be transferred to the target w02 again and uh, and execute and you can see the status of the three okay go to the target system go to the target system and uh, change the client and uh, id admin and what is the password id e yes and w is 0 to and execute and you see the 64 and take this idoc control y and control c and go to the transaction sc 38 and uh, uh, r b d a p p 0 1 idocs are very easy guys huh? execute and no logic no code nothing huh? will come see guys application document posted successfully 53 is the status code and see the uh, material and go to the mm03 and edz what is the material see double click you can see the material so mara so this is the material and enter this material and enter and enter select basic data one basic data two see whatever the data which we have given in the eight and that the data will be transferred to the 8 10 clients guys before the idocs are configurational errors okay that we have seen guys okay this is the uh, idoc monitoring idoc status record is very very important so by seeing the status you will come to know what kind of error it is so like this 64 and 51 and all and also the application log also very very one of the use guys slg1 by seeing that you can easily tell so what is the errors and also guys so I am going to do little uh, uh, problem in the SM59. See, I go to the SM59 communication. Sometimes the user ID password we will set for 45 days. So your password will be expired, but you don't uh, bother about that password. No one will, actually we will be having separate user IDs for the RFC connections. It's not the SM, our user IDs. It's in a background user IDs we are going to maintain it. So we will set in a password for 45 days okay after 45 days your password will be expired so maybe what i will do is uh, what is the connection password which i have used id admin okay maybe what i will do is maybe in the target system 810 i will set su01 uh, id admin i will put in a lock on this okay i will 
I will do a lock on this user ID in the target system. We'll see what will happen. So this is user ID is locked on the target system. This user ID is used to connect the two systems. Now I try to post the IDOC guys. So now I set an a user ID lock the communication uh, user ID. Now I try to send the IDOC now. So go to the uh, EDZ IDOC test and same material I am sending just for the test purpose. Okay, and execute. One master IDOC is created, one communication IDOC is created. Fine. So we'll go to the uh, WE02 and check the status. First, it will be 30. That's not a problem. So control C and and go to the SE38. 30 means you need to process with the RSC out to 00. And uh, what happened? WE02. WE02 and execute. And this is the 30 status. And take this IDOC and go to the next session. <laughs> Hanged guys. System hanged. Eight ten. I don't want. Okay. Slash n. Uh, SC thirty eight. Okay. Execute. <coughs> Provide the IDOC number. Execute. And one more. See guys. So, what happened? One IDOC is selected. Okay, that's fine. I go to the uh, status of the IDOC, not this side. Come back and again check the status of the IDOC WE02 and execute. And the status is 3. Okay, so this side, this side, the latest IDOC is 10. Come back. And 10 refresh it the 10 IDOC is only guys but IDOC is not at received Santosh uh, are you there in the yeah I'm there, I'm there. yeah now yeah. you see the IDOC status is 03 success it is showing it is successfully transferred but yeah when I go to my receiving system so this is one of the possible case for your uh, issue actually but when I go to the receiving system, I'm not able to see the latest record. See, the problem here is the connection problem. Right. So if there is any problem of these connections, always the entry will be made in the transaction code called SM58 case. So there is a transaction yeah. SM59 to maintain RFC destinations. Since it is an RFC problem, the entries, the TRFC connections will be failed in the SM58 and execute you see there is an entry see guys user is locked please notify the person responsible so the log is even though there is an a three but the idoc is not mm. to the target application so this is the one of the possible but if you are not able to see this okay if you are not able to see this mm. the, then one more problem is i will show in the next concept so even though it is three but it doesn't transfer to the target applications so all these things we'll see so first my uh, error resolution is i put some user id password password is wrong or user id is locked it will give you an rfc communication error so it doesn't give an error in the idoc it shows an a three but in the uh, it doesn't receive the idoc to the possible scenarios in interviews they may ask this question so my question is idoc questions guys when you go for interviews so don't fear you know you are expert in idox okay i am giving that much dose in the idox okay so why so most of the people will fear if they want to tell you know the idox most of the people will fear don't fear guys so why the idox status not why the idox status IDOC not received to the target system even though it is even though the status the 
Rydoc status as 0, 3. That means it's in a success. Okay. The possible things I'm mentioning here, here there might be RFC connection issues. First check this is RFC connection issues. Okay. Might uh, be the password expiration problem. One thing. And also and also maybe the user lock issues or maybe the target system sometimes will be down so whenever the target system is down maybe the target system is down so that's the beauty of the idox guys so if it is an rfc if it is an bappy if the target system is down you are whenever you send an a request it will be failed immediately and if you want to process again you need to reprocess that but might be there are some online transactions so here it is the case idoc when it is an idoc when you run this in the background so th that will be failed over here that request will come over here guys but whenever the system is up you can reprocess this from this from here guys you can reprocess the idocs from here itself so whenever the system is up all the idocs which are posted that you can reprocess it so that's the beauty of the idocs so the rfc connection so this might be the issues okay so later i will show what all the issues so even though it is three but it doesn't go to the target system one is the rfc related issue okay maybe i will uh, i will go to the target system yes now this is the issue reported so i will ask my administrator hey so please unlock this user id in the target system so the administrator goes to the target system and he is going to unlock the so lock the transaction what is this transaction code su01 and unlock the transaction so after you unlock the transaction i am going to reprocess this go to the log file and uh, edit uh, execute see execute luw so i am going to execute this luw guys come back and refresh uh, how to reprocess this uh, is there any reprocess execute is when i execute it should go guys execute luw yeah now it is transferred maybe i will go to the target system now so a10 and w e02 and execute and see guys the new idoc is whenever i reprocess the sm58 the idoc which is there in the sm50 that is transferred to the target before it is a 10 now it is in a 11 guys that's the reprocessing mechanism is um, a beauty in the idocs guys compared to the other interfacing techniques 64 you need to do in a rbda pp01 guys so that's the one thing and more things even if there is any some errors we can do any uh, this thing as well guys the uh, debugging how to do the debugging of the idocs and all we'll see after the lunch and the concept today we we have seen very less guys because of the some issues and maybe uh, next i am going to introduce the uh, change pointers concept and we'll see the change pointers concepts in the after lunch so change pointers and also enhancement standard and uh, now we have seen for the material master maybe we'll see the uh, vendor master as well so we'll see the vendor master in the next class okay with the uh, standard setup then we'll use the uh, change pointers technique and also we'll use the uh, custom fields adding custom fields to the standard idoc three concepts which we need to complete today and the next class we are going to use the message control okay so there are a lot of concepts in the idoc maybe i can go to the previous batch uh, uh, thing uh, b8 b6 is there uh, b6 is not there
somewhere it is there here my training up oh, is 6 oh data and the li docs oh, it's not separate videos yes where is the b6 uh, batch it somewhere i put b6 okay leave it maybe Uh, Akil, you have shared some time back B6, uh, B8 only. Okay, that's not a problem. We'll see later. Okay, we have filtering concept, uh, segment filtering and IDOC filtering, uh, enhancement, IDOC enhancement, message control, custom IDOC. Okay, there is heavy content which is there. Okay, that's it for the. now and maybe after the lunch we are going to start we are going to see the change pointer concept thank you all